As Hurricane Adalia gets closer to Florida, it's important for homeowners to have their insurance ducks in a row, regardless of where this storm makes landfall. Yeah, new here at 5, Christopher Heave took a look at what steps you can take right now to better protect your home and your wallet during this very busy season. While homeowners have no control over where Idalia winds up, there are some things they can control to make their homes more watertight. Wind-driven water can actually penetrate stucco and concrete blocks. So if you have a really good coat of, of a good high-quality paint, you get a watertight envelope. Caulk and seal around your windows. Insurance One expert Tom Cotton says using house. a pool noodle to block ridge vents can also keep some of that water out of your attic. And documentation is key. Take video or photos of your belongings before the storm because you may not remember everything you have or what it's worth. If you are describing it and you have a video description of it, then the insurance adjuster, it'd be a lot easier for them to put a number on something like that. After the storm passes, if it's safe to do so, take steps to prevent further damage. Keep any receipts for supplies used and Contact your insurance company first before signing a contract you might later regret. Anyone that comes to your door soliciting work or saying they're working in the neighborhood and they'd like to do an inspection, that should be a red flag. Just send them on their way. Tom adds due to higher hurricane deductibles, homeowners might want to hold off on filing a claim for minor damage because that will show up on your insurance record whether it's paid for or not. Usually 2% or 5%. So for every $100,000 of home value, it's a $2,000 deductible. You need to keep that in mind before you file a claim. You might have some damage, but you might not want to report it because it probably wouldn't pay anything anyway. Christopher Heath, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.